and welcome to already the next episode of Yosemite Valley Zoo. Today we are going to build a habitat for this time a game animal. So an animal that exists in the game. I mean, yes, it, it sounds surprising, but it, it's not that surprising. We're building it a habitat for the wonderful mandrel and you know let me just talk about the mandrel in a bit but first of all thank you everyone for the last couple of days you guys have been smashing these subscriptions here on the channel like we are growing quite significantly re recently and i really do appreciate that so just as a little reminder for those of you who are constantly watching and you're not subscribed yet you know you might want to consider subscribing because again it, it just helps the channel and let me just reintroduce you to the fact that still over 70 percent of the people watching on going on this channel are not subscribed yet. This is kind of uh, actually a very high value even compared to the normal uh, value, which, uh, you know, just kind of highlights that there is still a potential of people who could become members of this wonderful community. And I have to say, like, you guys are kicking it lately. It's, it's, I feel so honored, especially what you guys deliver in the franchise mode. So just let me say thanks to you again, because you make this all possible. And I'm feeling better than ever here on YouTube. And this is really down to you. So, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Every single one out there sitting in front of their mobile phones, computers, TVs, uh, Xbox. I've seen people watching on Xbox. I've never, never thought about that. Well, I've seen that. It's, it's insane. Um, and, uh, you know, the first thing before we start uh, talking about the mandrels, um, we're going to have like also like a real time part at the end. Um, first thing I wanted to quickly tackle is, um, are you guys interested in having like a little update video on, on my statistics? Like, would you, would you love to see like a little deep dive of um, how this is like, all coming together in the channel like all the analytics and stuff i just was recently like thinking about it if, if some of you might be interested in that so um i could actually think of making the video showing you just a little bit around my stats and you know and and what kind of this means here on the channel with like the, the numbers i'm i'm always like talking about you know just just giving you a little bit of an insight um on, on what is going on because you know sometimes i feel like youtubers are mostly like very um, restrictive about this, not, like, not talking too much about this, but you know, I just feel like this is also kind of part of your stuff uh, you deserve to see sometimes because it's kind of what you support and what you watch and consume. So um, I was just figuring. So let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in seeing that. Um, so I have a feeling if you want or not. And if not, you know, I could always do like a private one that goes to my Discord channel. So in case you are already in there, let me just know and we do it over there because I just feel like it's kind of a cool little bit extra bit of info. Anyhow, let's talk about the mandrel, okay, shall we? Now, the mandrel is uh, the animal of the beta, I should say, um, and I think I, I, I just saw, talked about that once. Um, the mandrel seems to be one of the most forgotten animals in this game because it has been completely overused during the period of beta and, and most likely because that was the only monkey we had in the game um, in the beta so that means it was the only animal that used the climbing mechanics and so everyone has used I mean I even want to say abused the mandrel to do whatever they thought about doing in terms of climbing and stuff and you know once the game was out and we had all these shiny other monkeys in the game that we could tackle on like the lemurs and so on um, you know it was all gone and and, and the mandrel got somewhat forgotten and uh, forgotten and i got to admit that honestly even even i think i um forgot so much about it that i never really i think i built one for the franchise for one of the franchise seasons and i'm not sure if i did any other in in any other series at least i cannot really think of one to be honest like i'm not really sure like if we did one for uh, no i think we didn't like we didn't do no we didn't really do any any mandrel habitat in uh, the sky gardens no we didn't and no, we didn't also do obviously not in the arctic pack and no i think that we also didn't do a one shot on this no it's it's only the only one we have was i think it i believe it was Verinquieto, maybe where we just had it but this was just very to the end of Verinquieto, to be honest so yeah, that's kind of some time ago. And I really thought, you know, now being in this African area, just the mandrel would fit totally fine. And, you know, we, we need our we now need our inner friend um, that is uh, in here again. We need the Rafiki, you know, the Rafiki moment. Um, so in, in having a, a wonderful um, 
bright and clever mandrel in our zoo. And since this is the African area, I found this very suitable uh, to, to build this habitat in here. And I just found this fitting because it is just to the right hand side of the ape house, which in fact is, you know, and here's again me, me just kind of being a little bit funny about this, but it's still this, this weird situation for me as a German. Um, we, we don't really differ between monkeys and apes, like we have a naming for that, but it's just not existing. For us, everything is just like Affe, which means literally translated monkey, if you will. Um, and ape is kind of mentioned Affe, which is like human monkey, if you will, literally translated. And we, we kind of don't have that difference in there. So for us, it's kind of all monkeys, you know, and that is why it's just like... Animal-wise, species-wise, it definitely does fit uh, next to the ape house or monkey house, however you want to call it. I don't know. It's just just weird, okay? So let's let's just say that these are all like primates, okay? It's the primate house, and then then that's kind of a safe story, I guess. So uh, that's what we what we want to call it for for the moment. Um, but yeah, so mm, you can definitely tell that I'm. I'm doing this more of a freeform habitat, but I think this this habitat with with all what we are going to do is is kind of looking cool at the end. Um, whoops, I just hit my microphone. I haven't done that in a while. Um, but this habitat over here is is a little bit like open, spacious, I should say. And we do have this little shelter building here, which um, I still have to do the inside of uh, at the end of the episode. We're also going to talk in the real time part what's going to happen next. And um, you know, I'm. I'm trying. Okay, let me just take that little moment here. Um, I'm trying at this very point in time to just somehow manage time and and kind of frontier update thingies uh, together because this recent little update about the fur and skin variants coming to the game in combination to some action on Steam DB, which never is a hint to be honest, but still we do some see some action and also. Gamescom coming up in a, uh, in a couple weeks, which, yes, Gamescom is not really going to happen, but still Gamescom is kind of doing a digital event over a couple of days. Um, so I, I, th I think it's still very important for the gaming industry, just like release-wise and stuff. And many big, uh, big, big kind of, you know, studios have already announced that they will launch and announce something during the Gamescom days. So there will be like a digital Gamescom. And I'm assuming and hoping, just like it's, it's me, like actually more hoping than assuming, to be honest. But like I'm hoping that potentially Frontier will also part of the lineup, uh, which I couldn't, like, the thing is today the Gamescom actually did put up the, the whole plan of everyone taking part. The problem is for me it was broken. I couldn't open that PDF. Well, it, it just kind of always gave me an error. So I would have loved to check that and just give you the, the insight if Frontier is part of the lineup or not, but because I couldn't really see that. Um, so yeah, before the real-time part, I will check again, but I think it's still not available, unfortunately. But if, if so, I'm going to check uh, before I do record the real-time part, which is just after me recording right now the uh, the voiceover. But now, the thing is, I'm really hoping that Frontier is going to announce something, or maybe, maybe even release already during that week. That would be nuts, or at least very shortly after. Um, and that means that like in less than a month, we potentially could have some new uh, input, which uh, I think would be absolutely amazing, um, and I'm, I'm really, 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 really hoping for it because I'm I'm drained out. I do need some new content in this game, and I'm I just I just can't wait anymore. Uh, <laughs> and that said, I um, I'm trying to figure out how I move on here and and what will be the next thing I do because I don't want to spend too much time starting a bigger area in here and then just having a DLC and then just kind of weirdly trying to merge that into it. So I'm still kind of trying to figure out how we can have a nice little segue into a potential DLC content that can make its appearance in here. You never know what it could be. I've, I've got no idea. We have got some hints from some plans that have been spotted in these three images Frontier released and I'm not going to go too much into it but you know if if we can follow these little plans that have been discovered it hints a little bit towards Australia um, so that is kind of what the rumor is being saying but hey it's totally up to us you know guessing in the dark no one has like Frontier doesn't even say anything at this point in time so it's there's no confirmation whatsoever and you know it, it potentially would be super risky to do something Australian related right now um, so I'm just kind of trying to buy myself some time right now in, in doing some stuff ahead which I have done here with all the episodes and now I'm just trying to find a way what to do and there is a certain idea I have and this is kind of finishing up uh, this area here with the with the African style 
uh, things and then just kind of finishing up season three already which would have been like a very short season to be honest but this kind of would give me room for anything that happens with a potential DLC and just call that season number four, which um, would also give me the chance to make another tour because people have been asking quite a lot about the new tour. I mean, there has been some stuff that has been added recently, so there is definitely a, a valid reason for another tour. Um, but anyways, I, I think it, it also would make sense to um, just look a bit into into some other stuff that could potentially be done in the zoo because it's starting to be pretty cramped. It's starting to be pretty well filled um, and I have to see which spaces can be used, which can't. So yeah, the next couple of days will definitely go into making the ape house very much finished to 100%. As I said, I will change a little bit of the appearance uh, that, um, you know, the one that Haribo built is just freaking insane, but people have been kind of commenting and I think they do have a point there that this might be a little bit too modern like i have done quite a bit already in this very episode over here um just putting in some more trees some other foliage and stuff and i still will do a tiny bit so the next episode will potentially focus maybe on uh, fixing up this this ape house a little bit and then also going into making sure that we do have like one more fictional animal potentially going in here and maybe not I don't know maybe we just do another giraffe uh, enclosure or whatnot and then I will also start already finishing up season number three and just preparing for potentially upcoming stuff there um, because that is definitely needed and so this is this is kind of, kind of my little thought process here about Yosemite and then we will have to see how we move forward from over here um, into into the future kind of uh, content that is going to happen in Yosemite Valley because I still have some some dope ideas about this zoo. Um, but yeah, just gonna have to find the time as well. But yeah, so that's that's how it looks uh, and how it is right now. Now, let me take you into the real-time part now and we're gonna talk a little bit about what has happened here and what is going to happen uh, as well. So, hope you enjoyed the time lapse so far. Now stick with me, we are going to start the real-time part now. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the real-time part, and today we are going to take the route that the zookeeper has towards the mandrels as of now. It's going to change a little bit, I'm going to talk about that, but we're just following our friend here, just zooming through the wall. It's um, a platform 9 3 quarter, <laughs> and uh, we're just going to take that route down here, you know, just taking this little bit of wonderful uh, slopey pathway over here while we hear someone escaping, which uh, is a little like a little bug I have. Um, but, you know, this is in one habitat where I couldn't do it otherwise. They're just not really escaping, to be honest. They're just, like, mostly floating into um, area they shouldn't go. But they will always come back because there's only that chance uh, to get back into the habitat and nowhere else. So, But just, like, technically, game-wise, they do escape. But, like, actually, they don't, So <laughs> if that makes any sense. Now, um, we're here. And as of now, you can see there is the Meerkat habitat here. And there is this uh, wonderful... Um, uh, fennec fox habitat here. This is just running away from an animal. I guess that might then be a gorilla that has escaped. I don't know. Um, we, we don't really look into this. I guess maybe it was. I don't know if I made the mistake here. Uh, but anyways, we are here now at the mandrel habitat. You can see this is the habitat from over here. We can um, actually have a nice little glimpse into the habitat. I made, oops, uh, something you haven't seen in the time lapse. I made this little hammock in here, uh, which we've used quite a few times, but just to, to give them a bit more chill place. And there's one cool bit about this. Um, I'm going to show you when we zoom out because there's a li like a little trick you can use actually if you want in your zoos, your zoos as well. But you know, from this position, you can really have a nice little view inside of the mandrel habitat. They are very, you know, they have their free time. They have their, their privacy because you can't really see too much there's a lot of foliage in here but you can still have a nice view and you can just basically go around the entire habitat which is more or less the there's a mosquito just attacking me just go away stop eating me thank you so much that would be much appreciated okay so if you go further you can see then on this side we have a bit of, of a lower wall and you can actually lean over here to see actually the animals they cannot really escape because there's this little water um feature in between like technically they could but you know since the game handled this in the way that this is like a, a complete barrier for them that is it but you know just look at the animals i still believe they are really cool like how they they are made and just like you can really tell that there is a reason why they use them them in beta because just like how cool they are i mean could you just stop chilling with your back towards us i mean i would be really appreciate to see you 
what's he doing? Is he like playing rock, scissor, paper thing? <laughs> oh, oh my god, this is just look so cool. Just looking at animals, I love, I love that still in the game. We should be doing that way more often, to be honest. But, you know, I just keep saying that we never do. Um, oh, look at the vista, though. I just, ah. Oh. Like, everything is, like, so nice. And, you know, can you even see in the back? Look at that. There's actually the, the grizzly bear, um... The grizzly bear conservation area so that's kind of cool there's one just running up in the hills as so it's just like uh left into the freedom um but yeah you can actually see how this really comes together now with the mac head habitat here on the left hand side somewhere in here need to be our capuchin monkey friend i don't know where exactly this but yeah it's in and then you know this is just just how, how the area it turns out and then i have already prepared a little bit of uh pathing over here so you can actually see there is a bit of um nice little pathway going on and i really want to make sure that this area over here gets a bit of a restaurant that we're going to squeeze in here like squeezy beasy you know that will be like a bit of a food grab area whatnot um so to sit down uh, sit down here you, you just at, at the back side of the bonobo habitat and then you have this incredible view towards half dome so that's like the idea to have this area like to sit down while you can grab some stuff here and this area will be a bit more overgrown so that um you do have like a natural barrier not looking to the right hand side because i want you to focus on on that area you know just you, you just need to look over here that is the basic idea and then this little path over here that leads a little bit closer to the um, to the lake side, you know, that you can just go down and, and look over to the other side where the, like, the big cats are. This is just a bit of the idea here. And then we will also move our way towards the other side of the elephant habitat, which I decided that we will enlarge this. This side over here will be made bigger. So we're gonna make, like, a very cool thing over here that the, um, Elephants can pass over and then there will be like a little bit of glass roof on here where they can move over and you can look from beneath. Um, that will be a little bit of a cool thing. Um, so not really sure how exactly that'll, that'll look, but I have some, some cool little ideas how we can do it so that they do have a bit more space you know um the elephants and can get a family i guess and some babies at some point um so that this would be nice i guess and then yeah i have no idea what happens to this side maybe this this could be an area for the dlc who knows if that is enough space i'm still not super happy with the mountain here so maybe we do something about that but you know there's just so much to do so much space still and uh, therefore let's just jump out of tejit cam so i can show you around a bit better so yeah, you can actually tell that um, it's it's quite impressive how quickly we filled in that entire area. I mean, yes, I had some some good help by Haribo. Like, okay, that is uh, <laughs> the most underwhelming I've ever said. Like, it, it gigantic help from him. You know, he's done like a stellar job in in all of that. And uh, the cool bit is that we still have uh, potential areas for some DLC content right in here, left and right. We still have some space here. Um, and who knows, I think this should still be African, um, and, and that, therefore, like, this could be, like, the giraffe area with a nice little shelter and stuff, but other than that, it's mostly done, you know, this little gap will be filled with, like, backstage stuff, because there's just, like, that backstage building, I do want to do some other backstage stuff, and, yeah, maybe we get some exhibits on this corner, you know, that you just walk past here and you've got some, some exhibits, I guess that could be a thing, um, I'm thinking about, but... Other than that, I'm, I'm not really sure what else could go in here. And then um, we still have plenty of space left in this area for maybe some more aquatic stuff, some more fictional habitats, who, who knows, you know, that is all kind of up to discussion. And then still the changes in the already existing part of the park. But, you know, I think all over we are already having, yeah, quite a good quite a good uh, amount of space filled very detailed very nicely filled very like plan wise also looks good i still have to figure out how to connect the backstage area so i'm potentially thinking of a of a backstage bridge that goes here you know just connect i mean realistically that would be also like a thing that you have like the backstage area here and then these kind of stairs connect down to to an actual backstage area however the the problematic bit about this would be that you know whatever kind of vehicle you have you would not be able to move in here so but needs to have like another entrance especially for the elephants you know you would need to have some bigger potential entrance because what what would be the reason or what would be the idea how to bring the elephants in here would you have brought by a helicopter that makes no sense you know so there still needs to be some some kind of realistic 
input for that same goes for this area even though this area has like a bit more of a realistic inlay over here and inlet um but yeah so other than that guys i I think we are almost done with today's episode. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Oh, wait, I forgot this little trick I wanted to show you. So in case you want to make animals take some specific area to take a take a nap, you know, you use these beddings. However, the in-game beddings, the old ones, you know, um, in case you have the South American, I'm not even sure if they came with the South American pack or if they are in the basic version of the game. Let me just click, uh, no, uh, filter content pack base game oh yeah they're part of the base game okay cool now um this bedding over here like this bedding could also work but the problem about this bedding is it has like a solid uh face from the bottom however this um leaf just kind of disappears because it only has a visible texture from above so that way you can always use it in certain situations like that you know looking from above it just looks fine but as you just move down it just disappears you know it doesn't matter it just does not matter at all um it just still looks good um the only part where it doesn't look good is if you would look like this but you never have the the angle to look at that from here so it doesn't really matter at all so that is kind of how you can trick the game a little bit and so they they use it to take a little nap there so that is the idea and you still can see they do have a traversable area on here so they can take a nap so that's kind of kind of cool and um, yeah, that's that's all I wanted to show you today. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It is hump day, so enjoy your hump day. Um, I really do hope you guys still appreciate the content. Please let me know in the comments down below how you would like to continue in Yosemite Valley. What kind of animals you're still missing? Uh, what do you think would be cool to see next? And yeah, of course, let me know what you think could be the next DLC that Frontier is preparing for us and just hoping that they are preparing something for us. So I'm excited for your input, but now have a wonderful day and goodbye everyone. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I was really happy to have you here. In case you enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to consider subscribing. You can do it via this button here. And if you want to see more, uh, there's some cool other stuff linked here for you. This is suggested for you personally. That's pretty cool. And in case you want to support the channel a tiny bit more, you can do it via this wonderful Hype Camel link over here. I really would appreciate it. And also, big thank you already to all the people who do already support the channel. Really do appreciate that. But now, have a wonderful time, guys, and I catch you in the next one.